OK, welcome back. So now I'm going to tell you about one of the things that I think is neatest about linear optimal control design, which is the fact that if I have a linear system that is controllable and observable, I can develop an optimal full state feedback control using LQR. Okay? I can also develop an optimal Kalman filter or linear quadratic estimator using A and C. And what's amazing is that when I combine them, they remain optimal. So I, I choose this LQR to place the eigenvalues of the closed loop system here. I choose the Kalman filter gains to place the eigenvalues of my estimator dynamics. And it's not obvious, but it's very cool that when I combine these, I retain those same dynamics. Okay, so this combined system where I estimate the full state, then I do LQR, give in Gaussian white noise disturbances and, and measurement noise. This is called the linear quadratic Gaussian control. And in practice, we call it LQG, LQG. Uh, so it's, again, linear control that minimizes a quadratic cost function. And here, it's given Gaussian disturbances uh, for my full state estimation. So LQG is a pretty neat uh, control. It's essentially just combining a Kalman filter and an LQR. It does have some limitations. So there are some fundamental issues that when you combine these things, sometimes your LQG system can suffer from robustness issues. Sometimes your system can be like arbitrarily fragile, meaning if this is, has a little bit of, of system uncertainty or some nonlinear dynamics you didn't model, this could in general uh, become unstable even if you think it should be stable. That's something we'll talk about later, and that actually motivates what's called robust control, which is optimal in a different sense. But for now, let's just combine these and make sure that the dynamics of the combined system uh, has the same eigenvalues we think it should have. So what I want to do is remember, first of all, we have epsilon equals x minus x hat. And we had some epsilon dot dynamics that I'll, I'll remind you of in a minute. But what I want to check is that x dot, so ddt of x is equal to all of this stuff. Okay, It's equal to um, ax plus bu, but remember u is minus k, so u equals minus kr x hat. We're using the estimate of x because we don't have access to the full states times our, our LQR gain matrix. So this is really a minus b kr x hat, okay, plus some disturbances. OK, and so now what we get to do is think to ourselves, well, what is x hat? Well, x hat, I, what I can do is I can essentially say x hat is equal to x minus x minus x hat. Sounds reasonable, I think. And so I'm going to plug this in here. This is just an identity. I'm going to plug that in here. And I'm going to get AX minus BKR X minus minus is plus BKR X minus X hat plus WD. No big deal. Okay? And if you recall the dynamics of our epsilon, if I looked at epsilon dot, I'm pretty sure I got something like. A minus my Kalman filter gains times C epsilon. And I didn't actually derive this for the case with disturbance and, and noise. But if you do, what you get is a plus WD. So this WD essentially feeds through. And then I also get a minus KF times my sensor noise. So you can just verify, do this on some pencil and paper, and verify that you get these terms, but it's pretty simple. And so now what I want to do is I want to combine these two. So I want to build a new state space equation, ddt, of my true state x. This is the actual state of the actual system. I want it to be stabilized. 
and the error of my estimation. I also want this to be stabilized. So x is my honest to goodness full state. Epsilon is my estimation error. So I want both of these to be stable. And if I write this down, what I have is, OK, so I'm going to write this down as a matrix times, hope I have enough room here, times x and epsilon. OK, so x dot equals a minus b k x. KR is the common filter. I also have a plus BK epsilon. So there's a BKR here. And then there is, um, I'm going to have another matrix times my disturbances and noise. So to some extent in my common filter system, the disturbances and noise are kind of the exogenous inputs to my system. So they're, I'm writing them kind of like an input. And in this equation, I had a Z, an identity uh, and a zero here, OK? Because disturbance feeds through to x dot, but not sensor noise. OK, and now my epsilon dot equation, I have, this doesn't depend at all on x, which is amazing. So zero, then I have a minus Kalman filter C. OK, so this is getting pretty cool. And then I have an identity on my disturbance and a minus KF on my noise. And so this is really, really remarkable. When I take and I, I actually combine my full state estimate from my Kalman filter with an LQR optimal full state feedback control, I can, get, I can derive the dynamics for x and epsilon. And what I get is the eigenvalues of this coupled system because this is diagonal, I get the eigenvalues of this matrix and the eigenvalues of this matrix. So what's really cool is even when I combine these systems, the eigenvalues of my full state x are still stabilized by my LQR controller. So this is my kind of LQR eigenvalues. They're optimal from LQR. And my estimator dynamics retain the exact same Kalman filter eigenvalues. My Kalman filter or LQE eigenvalues. And so in control theory, this is called the separation principle. The separation principle, which essentially means I can design my LQR and my LQE controllers and estimators in isolation separately. And when I combine them, the combined system retains the desirable properties of each of them. This is really, really cool. Um, it just works out because of the linear algebra. So we can actually take a real system with limited measurements, limited actuation, and we can build both of these and put them together. And so that's what we're going to do next. And for some cases, we're going to find that this does have robustness issues. So we're going to generalize this optimal control framework to try to find controllers that are optimal with respect to other cost functions. Like maybe I want to penalize fragility, um, which we'll define later. OK, thank you.